Hi everyone, welcome to the Nacolus Workshop. Um, today we're going to have a talk about the um, uh, dividing um, head or uh, indexing attachment for the Unima SL lathe. And here we can see uh, I've got the, the three main parts of it uh, disassembled at the moment. So um, we've got a, a locking screw there and this is the plunger here that you, you pull in and out as you index uh, around um, around the, uh, I don't know what you'd call it, um, indexing wheel maybe. Um, now this is a 48, they come in various different um, sizes. I think there are four different ones off the top of my head, I can't remember. Um, but obviously, uh, I believe this one is uh, the most useful because more things divide into this than on the other ones. Now, I should say from the onset, um, I cribbed a lot of this information from Mike, whose channel is called Mike. And I put a link to um, his video on the uh, uh, dividing attachment. Um, so you can go over there and have a look at it. Um, so um, how this goes together is that just effectively goes in, goes in there. And then you have a, uh, a circlip, I think that might be called snap rings in, uh, in the US. This is a pretty sketchy uh, set of circlip pliers here. Um, so let's see if I can do this, put this back in. It's actually quite hard to do because you, if you place it on the, uh, on the bottom, as you can see, it sticks out. Um, so it's trying to, Put something there to allow you to uh, go to see. Let me use the. So these are the ones that go the wrong way. Let me use these. Let's see if I can get it in there with that. particularly uh, the most uh, engineering type way of doing this but anyway as you can see that's in there so what you can effectively do is when you pull the plunger out you can index this round however many you want to allow you to uh, create the um, the flats or drilling pattern or whatever you need now <clears throat> what you can do is now this is where things vary slightly from what uh, uh, Mike showed I can put a three drill chuck on here and as we saw in the last preview or some previous videos you remove the back plate you pop that on and then Put your screws in so that's great i can do that with a three jaw i can do it with um i can't think of what's called like a face plate so again the three the three holes which put it on put the screws in so that works fine and then you can have t t um uh, you know you can clamp your workpiece to there um, so that's okay but but Mike showed on his that a, f a full jaw could go on now on mine you can't now this is a what well, I believe it is a Unimat SL uh, full jaw but there are no holes and I can't quite see how you could get three 
three fixings with four jaws so I'm not sure how that actually works um, because there's no there's physically no um, thread in here it's just uh, you know smooth so once you've got it set up um, and you've got your your um, let's try and put one on so um, again it sees the uh, M4 um, screws you don't need you can use the 25 mil ones they seem to work fine we we had to have some longer ones for the screw cutting 30 mil ones for the screw cutting um, attachment but uh, just the standard ones that come out of the truck are fine that hold the base plate on okay so we're not actually going to do anything it doesn't matter how um, we don't have to have this tight, super tight so we can actually just put this straight on to if we've got the tool posts removed on the SL we can we can put it there and just bolt it onto using uh, some T-nuts we can just fit it there um, and then we can mill a flat on it we can index round mill another flat um, you can so there's also a milling table so that can fit onto the SL we can put it that way well not on the that way we can have it even have it that way so this we've got holes here and we've got holes here yeah so we can actually put it on that way so we can uh, we could have a bolt uh, driller uh, have a pattern there of indexing round or we can actually still have it up that way if we want and we can move back and forward so it's it is quite a flexible thing uh, one thing that Mike uh, a really good point he made was when you've got the T-nuts in here um, one of the challenges is is, well, is having the allen key to fit because all this is in the way so what he did it was cut off an allen key just to make it very small so uh, then the casting wouldn't get in the way um now obviously uh yeah yeah that, that that's pretty much how it works it, it's uh i think from from what i can see it, it's quite a good um tool because in as much as you could have the um the unimat in a lathe configuration and you've turned turn down your piece and then you may want to just put some flats on it where you can just unscrew the actual chuck from there without taking the workpiece out and then fit it onto here and put it change the the unimat to a milling machine and then it's all still uh central in the um in the chuck so it's quite a, it's quite useful to be able to uh um transport the workpiece with the chuck um you so the the yeah it's just using a standard back plate so that's uh that's pretty good so the question is uh, if anyone knows whether it is feasible or how you could uh, put a four jaw on i mean i know we've got these t nuts with the m12 on if you were trying to just do some basic milling you can put that on there and then you can screw your chuck onto there so that would work with the four jaw but i can't quite see how how one can do it with with the indexing play but so i'd be really grateful if anyone actually knows anyway that's about it really it, it's uh, it's a nice nice add-on i think it's probably you know the auto feeds great but you probably can live without it thread cutting well i think that attachment is pretty cool but i think trying to get all the various formers to be able to cut um all the different types of threads will be a very expensive game um because they're 20 
21 of them and you know they, they go in for about 50 UK pounds each one so um, as you can see that's uh, quite a bit of money but this does actually seem a, a good addition to your Unimat SL setup um, you know is it everything you're never going to do anything giant on a Unimat you obviously with a three jaw you can revert, reverse the um, uh, the the jaws so that makes you holding more flexible and with this you actually have got quite a quite a larger larger area it's about uh, 668 mil and that when you where I've tried it on here when you put it on there it does you do get clearance on the bottom so it will turn around yeah yeah so yeah that's the uh, the Unima indexing uh, or dividing head or indexing attachment so a big thanks to Mike uh, again for um, you know uh, making a, a nice video that gave me lots of information um, and uh, yeah so um, I'm not sure what I'll show you next um, but I'm sure I'll find something so as always stay happy strong and healthy thanks for watching cheerio